Okay, this is a uh, a little CFL circuit, a gutless CFL. The guts have been removed from the bulb. Uh, and basically, this is a one wire circuit. Uh, as you can see here, I can remove one wire from that circuit and just touching that wire will make that light get brighter. But I'm gonna hook it back up. This is the uh, other side of the secondary. What I want to show you, if you guys build this, is uh, to be careful. This thing can put out, uh, uh, I've seen as high as 2500 volts. This is a uh, 65 volt neon bulb. Okay, and I've just got a jumper on here, nothing else. And, and you can see I'm not even touching that wire. So we have an electromagnetic field here, and if I touch it, it's hot. And if you touch it, it's going to light you up like a Christmas tree. Okay, hot there. It's hot there. It's not hot there. I can touch that, and it won't hurt you. This little thing is uh, quite a safety device, if you ask me. I can touch it in different places and it won't be hot like I can touch that that's the collector and you'll learn real quick uh, if you grab a hold of the wrong wire or bump into it, it it'll it'll really let you know real quick in fact this is a um, a full CFL, 14 watt, the equivalent to a 60 watt bulb. And all I got to do is just touch it to one end and it'll light it. But the uh, strange part is, let me come around here to the other side, I have the hot wire coming off of the coil, uh, secondary coil also jumpered over here to the neutral which would be on the outside and not here and so I can just drop that in there and it'll light but as soon as I let go it just barely lit and it increases my amperage draw probably about 50 milliamps when I do that now you can also do this with a uh, uh, LED bulb probably have to go here now I'm gonna have to have an earth ground and look out for these bulbs here that's a 7 watt um, 40 watt equivalent this outside piece here is conductive to electricity and if you ain't careful it'll get you this is just an earth ground here. It goes outside and goes to a copper pipe, drove into the ground about five feet. But you can see, and if you look, I don't know if the camera will show it, but there's an arc going on there. It's jumping. So there's quite a bit of voltage here present. Now what I'm going to do, there are several ways that you can uh, hook this up and this this coil design here I kind of stumbled onto it I had um, wound one of these coils that's got the secondary on the bottom uh, I think I got 700 turns of uh, number 38 I believe it was uh, let me look at my drawing here Yeah, I didn't write it on there. Let me check. Correction, not 38. That's number 36, the the secondary. And I got about 700 turns. Uh, you get a little over 350 turns or so per layer. And I've got two layers on there. 
and before I brought the wire out um, the first two winds on either end of the secondary I have a number 28 wire uh, soldered to it because it's bigger and it doesn't break off as easy and then what I have here is 12 turns of 22 gauge and I have 40 turns of 22 gauge and the two closest wires to these two coils are wired together this is a positive voltage from a 12 volt battery and I do have a uh, little regulated power supply on there that's 13.6 uh, volts uh, at 4 amp max um, let me disconnect this again now I can take this second wire you can see it's lit I can take this second wire and I can touch it different places and it'll have different effects I can hook it over here there's different places you can hook it up right there I'm reading uh, 1170 volts there I'm reading uh, 1250 volts there I'm reading uh, 1280 1290 volts so there's different places you can hook this up uh, if you decide to build this circuit man oh man be careful it'll bite you uh, another thing here this diode is in between the base and the emitter if I slide this out you kind of get a unique effect and there's no capacitors in this circuit now there is capacitors in this but unfortunately uh, unless you have this hooked up right you're not going to get it to work that's the reason I have these plates in here on these here these little copper plates so that I can add a copper ground it makes a little difference here you can see but anyway uh, I don't know what else to say here uh, I've included the drawing uh, eventually when I get around to it I'm gonna put these uh, drawings on the website I haven't had a chance to do that yet uh, the transistor I'm using is a 2N 6487G uh, and I don't have this wired exactly the way it should be because this is heating up a little bit I, I could hold my hand on it for quite a while so I just guess and I'd say she's probably 103 104 degrees somewhere in there um, I just threw these on here real quick to make this video to uh, show you where we're going in our uh, endeavors here. Here's another diode. As you can see, it don't work too good with this circuit. 